So I've realized Zhang Ling is one of my most built characters in general in terms of her talents and the artifacts I have available to her. And uh, she's also one of my highest constellation characters. She is my highest constellation gacha character at C4. And I realized I hadn't made a build video on her somehow. So here we are today. Anyway, my name is Blossoms and welcome to another Genshin Impact video. And today we're going to be going over my Zhang Ling physical DPS build. I uh, actually really enjoy jungling and once I learned how busted the Crescent Pike was, I figured I would build her for physical DPS and I certainly don't regret it. But before we jump into the artifacts and the weapon and all of that, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. The support is always appreciated and it helps the channel grow. Working for that algorithm, you know? First off, we'll show off our artifacts. Uh, so right now I'm running the two-piece Gladiators Finale as well as the two-piece Bloodstained Chivalry. This is definitely an option, however I think the best option is probably going to be having the four-piece Gladiator set. It's just the artifacts I have and their substats work out a lot better for me to have both of the two pieces. If my substats here on my Gladiator's helmet weren't absolute booty cheeks, I would probably be using this rather than my Bloodstained Mask but my Bloodstained Mask has good crit rate and it got lucky on the crit damage rolls, so that's why I'm using that. And plus, I do still get the plus 25% physical damage bonus. And I've noticed that um, it kind of equals out. I was testing both of those, and it does kind of equal out in the damage department, except this one does hit a little bit higher for me. And I do crit a little bit more often because my mask is leveled up a bit more, so that just works for me. So if you're going for your physical DPS Zhang Ling, then you're definitely going to be wanting to go either four piece gladiator or two piece gladiator and two piece bloodstain. It's really just going to depend on your kind of artifacts and how they kind of work out for you. Now for the actual um, stats here, uh, my flower here has got some pretty good crit rate, crit damage. That's what you're mainly going to be focusing on is crit rate, crit damage, attack percent. And then my feather here has also got attack percent, crit damage, pretty nice. And then I've got attack percent, physical damage bonus, and crit rate percent. I think those are the way you're going to want to go, as um, you're not probably going to be having a crit rate spear. There are a couple, but I don't think they're the best for a physical DPS build, just because the Crescent Pike craftable spear is actually so good. And we'll get into why in a bit, but I think you're pretty much locked into having attack percent, physical damage bonus, and crit rate and you're just going to be one of focus on focusing on attack percent crit damage and crit rate substats as those are going to help you out the most now getting into the weapon i've mentioned crescent pike a couple times here and the reason crescent pike is so busted is one that it's craftable so you can get those refinement ranks up and two the extra damage you deal here can actually crit itself which is absolutely bonkers so when you're attacking with Zhongling, uh, you'll notice after picking up an elemental orb or particle, you'll be getting extra damage numbers, and those extra damage numbers can actually crit themselves, which really matters and bumps up your DPS to a substantial amount. And I think, you know, since this is a craftable weapon, this is accessible to everybody. You just have to get those prototypes. You've noticed I got mine here at Refinement Rank 3. It also has a physical damage bonus substat here, which is really nice boosting that up. Uh, just allowing you to deal that much more damage. I only have mine at level 70. My Zhang Ling is also only at level 70 and I'm at IR 50. So I do need to level up her weapon and her level itself uh, for my world just to make her a little bit stronger. But for now, that's what I'm dealing with. As for constellations, I did mention before I am at C4. Um, they are pretty solid. None of them are really too broken for her. Um, this one does decrease the pyro resistance using Gyoba. Um, the best one here is probably the C4, increasing that Pyronado duration, but I would say that's more for your support jungling, which I will be making a build for that as well. I just don't really have the artifacts to show that off yet. And then as for talents, I did mention I did have some of her talents up. I have her at normal attack level 8, courtesy of Child, as that's boosting it up one more level. It's usually at 7. Uh, Gyoba's only at level 4 here. I definitely want to get him up, but he definitely wasn't my priority. Um, I also have Pyronado here at 8, but I'm getting the plus 3 for my Constellation, which is very nice, uh, allowing me to be able to do that much more damage. One other thing that's important to note is that she also drops these Peppers when Gilba goes away, increasing the attack by 10%. That's important to note. It's kind of like a nice little mini game while you're playing too, is like hunt for the Chili Pepper and then whoever picks it up is going to get that damage increase. 
which is always welcome. And then as for attributes here, if you would like to mimic this build, we can check out the details here is um, I've got a crit rate of 51% and crit damage of a 119, not too bad. I would definitely like to get both of them higher, obviously. That's just all gonna rely on substats. Uh, okay, energy recharge here. That's not really what we're focusing on. And my physical damage bonus is at 101.8%, which is actually huge, um, allowing me to just deal that much more damage on the normal attacks and allowing me to deal that much more damage overall. Of course, I would definitely like to get her attack up more. I think that will come with me leveling up my weapon as well as her level more so than me getting more attack percent substats, but more attack percent substats would definitely be helping this out. So we're gonna be showing her off here on some random mobs. And uh, you can see she hits pretty darn hard, even without the buff from Crescent Pike here. But let me drop Gioba. We'll get that um, particle right there. And now we're doing even more damage along with the pyro damage. And you can see how that can start to really get out of hand, especially since you're getting orbs all the time. And let me go ahead and also make sure she doesn't kill herself here with the pyro on the ground. Because <laughs> that is a problem in the open world that can definitely happen. But you can see how much damage she's kind of dishing out here. And she's constantly getting those uh, orb particles, which is also extremely nice. And I think my favorite thing about this build is actually the fact that you can still run her as kind of support, like dropping the Pyronado here. And even though she's built for physical damage, you can see like her Pyronado still does pretty solid damage and is going to allow me to get constant vaporize procs on somebody like Child or Xing Shou. And it's really nice to be able to have that on the character because even though she's built for physical damage, she's still gonna be dealing out plenty of her elemental damage just because they're so strong by themselves. So I really like to use her while my child's uh, E stance is on cooldown, allowing me to keep up my damage, dealing huge amounts of physical damage, but still having a react character to deal a ton of that vaporized damage and stuff like that. And I think that is a really nice aspect, you know, to uh, Zhang Ling, especially when you're pairing her with somebody like Xing Shou and Gilba, you're just gonna be also getting those constant vaporized proxy. You can also proc um, put her with somebody like Fischl that's gonna be allow doing that much more damage. And I just really like the potential she offers. She fits in a lot of teams and deals plenty of physical damage, but we're actually gonna go ahead and show off a world boss here in just a second. All right, here we go. We're gonna show off on the uh, Pyro Regisvine a bit here. Do keep in mind the Pyro Regisvine is level 91. I did just get to AR uh, 50 here and my Zhongling is literally only at uh, level 70. So she isn't gonna absolutely one phase this, no doubt. But you can see the damage here definitely isn't bad. Um, she's dealing thousands and you see those little numbers are critting constantly. So the more crit rate you have on her, the better. That's going to allow you to deal that much more damage. And you see, we still got the boss down here pretty darn well. I wasn't even using my main DPS child, who's built out way more than uh, Zhang Ling. So you can imagine once you actually start building her out, like I get her level up, her weapon up a bit more, she's actually going to be dealing much more damage than she currently is. And you see the chili pepper drop there. And I meant to grab it, but I didn't there for a second. And we're just dealing a little bit more damage. And we deal plenty of physical damage, as you can see, really starting to chop down on that Pyro Ridge spine. All right, I also decided to go ahead and show her off here on uh, Abyss Floor 9. Just kind of give you guys an idea of some maybe like late game content that she can actually uh, participate in as a uh, DPS here. And one of my favorite things about spear users is the fact that they can travel with their charge attack, allowing you to reposition yourself a lot easier and like on command, which is really nice without having to use like as much stamina as like a sprint or something. And since she's physical DPS, she's actually dealing pretty good damage while doing that. And it allows you to get to targets a little bit easier as well. And um, you can see we're just kind of churning through these guys, dealing like 4k crits, getting those damage numbers up, allowing us to just deal that much more damage and churn through them nice and quick without any real ability usage. If I was actually, you know, sitting here and maintaining my abilities a little bit more, we would be going through this even a lot faster than we are now. 
And, you know, also having, like, a shield character like a Diona there is also really nice, just allowing you to uh, make sure that your attacks go uninterrupted. See, like that, sometimes you just get interrupted. Especially on um, abyss levels like this with all the Electro guys, you can certainly start to get interrupted. And you'll see my Pyronado is still dealing plenty of damage, uh, even on the abyss right there. And you see we cleared it relatively fast. Um, that was just a team that I threw together extremely quickly and uh, was able to clear it uh, pretty darn well. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm rocking for my physical DPS Zhongling. You can see she does pretty solid damage numbers. She hits in the thousands and three thousands. And the important thing to note there is maybe it's not as high as like a physical DPS Claymore user, but the difference is that she attacks much faster. So she's actually really keeping up with those damage numbers. The downside is to maybe uh, using a spear user over a claymore physical DPS user is the fact that they don't hit multiple enemies at the same time. You can with something like a charge attack, but you're not always doing it. But nonetheless, she does really strong single target physical DPS, especially with Crescent Pike. Uh, increasing that DPS, the fact that those numbers crit is absolutely insane. And once I actually level her up to a little bit more reasonable level, like I get her levels to 80 and her weapon to 80 here, then maybe I'll probably be showing her off again. And, you know, maybe once I get her artifacts a little bit rounded out, like I get a better mask here with the Gladiator set, I'll probably show her off once again and we can actually compare those differences. But Nonetheless, I think she's a really strong character and I think you should all definitely build her. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please leave a like and subscribe for more. We'll be making more content like this in the future, obviously. But anyway, my name is Blossoms and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace.